wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Hey guys, what's up? Happy Friday! It's the weekend! Yay! And we're actually going to be here in town which it's been a while, so um, we have a pretty busy weekend, actually. I am currently at the gym, it is pouring. Hello, fourth gym day in a row. Go me, I already lost the vacay pounds, but hey, your girl needed to lose way more pounds before vacay, so it doesn't technically count, although I am very proud of myself because I have lost 3.8 pounds this week. Go me, very much needed, very much needed. So what I've done is closed my eating window. I'm intermittent intermittent fasting. So uh, the last two days I don't eat till around, I, I know this sounds really late, but my family has a late schedule. So I don't eat till around two and then that leaves me to be able to eat till like, I keep asking James, what time do I need to stop? And he's like, he doesn't know either. I need to Google it, but I haven't. So I just like, after baseball, we eat something and then that's it. So like 9, 9.30ish, which I know is late, but after that, like when I get home and stuff, I don't eat anything else. Cause it was, it's like summertime. I had been eating all day and all night and it's crazy. So I am, like I said, gonna go work out. And then I need to head to Sam's just for some essentials. And then I need to get some vinyl for a sign I need to make for outside of our house. Tonight we have a bowling birthday party, tomorrow we have baseball, and then another birthday party, and then James and I are supposed to go hang out with our friends, and then Sunday we have baseball probably, and then the girls start vacation Bible school, which I'm super excited about. I haven't even told them about it, um, but yeah, they have, they have VBS on Sunday, and then they'll have it the 11th through the 15th, so that'll be exciting for them. And Kyla has a birthday party on Tuesday as, long, as well as violin classes. I can't talk this morning. I keep My words keep going over each other. Uh, but yeah, that's it. We're getting our weekend started. I am currently vlogging on my phone. I feel like this is just going to be what works out for me. We're going to go with it. When fall comes and I get my iPad back from Camila, I'll start using my, my camera again. But until then, I just got to do what works for me. Because I was very like, as you guys know... I haven't been doing, you know, any type of vlogging, and it's not that I, uh, you know, I'm gradually growing my channel, which is great, but honestly, the memories, I feel like I didn't, I don't have any memories from this summer, and I've gotten into the groove of, like, having at least a few vlogs during the summer, so I'm kind of bummed that I didn't vlog 4th of July, although I know I wouldn't have, because, like I said, we were with family that we normally aren't with, so... I really, I mean, we had a great time and I have all those memories like on Instagram and stuff, so that's fine. But anyways, I wanna have a couple summer vlogs to look back on because that's kind of one of the main reasons I do it too. It's so fun to have the memories of remember when we did this or that or whatever the case may be. So anyways, let's get this Friday started. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Come along with us and hopefully we have an awesome weekend too. <laughs> Okay, I just got out of Sam's. Um, I'm going to uh, do the quick haul right now because honestly, I hope it's not too loud out here, but it's easier for me to do it this way than at home with all the kids because it's summer and it's crazy and I'm sure they've trashed my living room and kitchen table. So I'm just gonna go over what I got for them here with you guys now because like I said, it's easier for me to talk about it and show you guys without being uh, bothered by the children. I have a perfect little, um, my phone is like, I mean, my truck can hold my phone right here perfectly. So I did get the kids. They have these champion sets and they were $12.98. Sorry if the cars are loud. Uh, I'm just noticing that. I do want to open one up. I'm going to open Camila's. I got her the size five, six. Should be good for her. Um, and I got her the pink color. So it says that it is a hoodie and leggings, which is why I mainly got them because 
these leggings are so hard to come by yeah this looks it almost looks a little too big for her but she'll be fine so these are just the athletic leggings in that real nice uh dry fit uh material the actual hoodie is also dry fit material this is a super cute little outfit for school uh it's just a champion long sleeve with the hood a lot of the times when I would do my school shopping, I would get them shorts and stuff. Well, what we don't realize is inside the schools, it's really cold. It's like super cold. My kids wear a jacket every day from the beginning of school to the end of school. So I really don't buy them a whole lot of shorts anymore like I used to when they were little. That's just a lesson I've learned over time. So I got Kyla the teal color. And if you can see, it has like the little ombre legs it goes a dark teal to a light teal and then it has of course this little teal same thing long sleeve and i went ahead and got dane one even though he is older they did have the 14 16 which will fit him because i know he'll wear these joggers they're not big at the bottom and uh they actually say champion you know so he'll wear that even i'm pretty sure he'll be fine with the hoodie too he's not quite old enough to wear he's too old for this so i thought that would work out for him so I got these three outfits. Like I said, they were $12.98 each, which I think is worth it for the pants mainly. Um, so I did splurge on this for me personally. My kids have never had a Bento box. Let me let this car go by, hold on. Okay, my kids have never had the Bento boxes. And honestly, um, we just started carrying lunches last year because the cafeteria food got really bad. I don't know if it was because of COVID or what. I'm assuming because Reagan's in high school, he will not be taking his lunch to school this year. Um, but Dane probably still will, but he can go with just the stuff I was using last year. But for the girls, um, towards the end of the year, I really dreaded making, of course I'm in a high traffic area. I really dreaded making um, lunches for them towards the end of the year. So I feel like by purchasing these, they seal up really well. So the deal is that they have a really nice leak proof seal. What I think I'm gonna start doing is making their lunches in the evenings. And that way in the morning, I'm not like mom mode. The Mom, I said that weird, mom mode. The moment my eyes opened, it was like in the kitchen. I had to get the lunches ready. It was just too much. So I'm gonna try to start making the lunches at nighttime. Uh, but in the evenings too, I'm just so tired. So this was an amazing pack. If you look up these uh, Bento boxes on Amazon, they're $24 each. This was a $24 for a two pack. And I have two daughters, which is like perfect. So they're set for 24 bucks. So I pretty much got them 50% off. It also helps that one is a bigger one for Kyla, which is this one, and then one is the smaller one for Camila. So for Kyla, it does have the section for me to section it off, but I can just put a sandwich and then, you know, her three sections there, which I thought was awesome. And it's, you know, just a single color, and then it's perfect because the smaller one, at first when I saw the smaller one, I know I'm talking really fast and stuff, but I'm just trying to, you know, I'm in the parking lot, I don't wanna be out here forever but when I first saw the colors I was like oh Camila's not gonna like that hello unicorns which is perfect for her for kindergarten this one is a little bit smaller you can notice which is perfect kindergartner versus fourth grader you see that it's a little bit smaller but Cammy barely eats so this is the perfect size for her and it has a ton of smaller compartments uh, like seal off thing for them So I thought that was a great deal. I mean, I just went ahead and did it. Here comes the guy again. I may have to go back into my car. So let me put this away and put this stuff away and we'll talk about the other stuff later. Bad idea. Okay, I was just trying to get a good conversation going with you guys. <laughs> All right, y'all, now it's raining on me. So I got toilet paper. I do want to talk to you guys about Persil. I'll talk to you guys about it when we get home. So I got that dog food for Dallas and then I'll talk to you guys about the sushi once I get in the car <laughs> okay this weather is disgusting um I almost couldn't get the dog food in the car and I was like don't be a baby get it in there and I just look <laughs> okay so I did get two packs of sushi it is Friday today so I thought it would be fun to do a little 
sushi lunch moment. What happened was I was always, um, I'm literally wiping the yummy. Okay, so James and I, I normally would always pick up sushi for James and myself. Uh, but as time has gone on, all of my children adore sushi. They love it so much. They ask for it all the time. Oh, I was like, is James calling me? This is my phone. <laughs> uh, so I went ahead and got a big pack for everybody um, because the kids have just been eating up all of our sushi when I bring it. So they're going to love that. I can't wait to get home. Uh, the Persil, I'll talk to you guys about at home. I used a, a small, or I can talk to you guys about it right now. So I, I bought a small container of the Persil because everybody on YouTube uses it. Like all the moms rave about it. And I was like, is this really good or what? What's the deal with this? You guys, it's a game changer. I am not joking. And even this one is probably gonna be better. Originally, I bought the small one in just the original plane. This one actually has OxyClean in it from Sam's Club. So it's gonna be 10 times better. But here's the deal. Like, you know when your kids, or even like Reagan, he has like cotton Columbia shirts, like light colors. And if he gets anything on them, they stain, kind of stain or whatever. And if you don't have a good, I never noticed, I, I always thought I had to like spray them for the stains to come out. This laundry detergent takes out every stain. All of our clothes come out looking amazing, stain free. The kids clothes, like if Cammie's wearing the same shirt all day and she gets it all dirty, sometimes certain things will leave a little spot, not necessarily a stain, but like, you know, it leaves like a spot where you knew that there was food there or whatever the case may be. Persil takes out all the stains, makes James's clothes smell good, makes the boys' workout clothes smell so good. 10 out of 10 recommended. I genuinely noticed a difference from switching from like, I don't know, I was, I've used everything. Honestly, I've used everything and I've never noticed. The reason I know is because I'm getting out the clothes and I don't have to spray anything. So I'm the type of person, it's really weird, but I'm the type of person that will wash the clothes, get them out of the dryer, see the stain, take it, spray it, and the stain comes out. That always works for me. That's just how I am. I don't go through the clothes before I wash them to find stains or anything like that. It's just like one of those moments like, oh crap, this one's stained. Let me spray and wash it, fold it up, let it sit like that for uh, you know the day or a few hours or whatever, and then I wash it with the next load and it comes out. Well, the reason that I know that Persil is working amazingly is because I haven't had to spray anything. All of our clothes, I even like look uh, specifically with Reagan's t-shirts because like I said, they're cotton, they're light colors. He's a boy, he's messy, he eats, he's a messy eater. We tell him all the time and he knows it. We joke around about it. And all of his shirts have come out sparkling clean. And so that is one way that I know for sure that it's working. Um, so anyways, 10 out of 10 recommend Persil. It's worth the extra couple bucks. If you have children, if you're doing sports, if you have smelly, you know what I mean? Like smelly sports clothes, workout clothes, whatever, 100% recommend it. So that's my little rent on Persil. Now I'm going to run into Walmart real quick because I have the sushi. I just need to get some vinyl real quick and that's it. And I'm going to come back out and then we're going to go home. <laughs> No sé qué tú ves en mí, mi amor Ya no dejes de mirarme Que ya me gusta quién soy Contigo me siento en control Eres el balance en este mundo poco humor Se volvió ese chico que hablo en mis canciones Esas madrugadas y hermosas conversaciones Volvió ese chico que quería ver otra vez Y me enamoré A volverlo a ver Tú me ves como nadie más ve Me diste alas para que vuele Pero motivos para quedarme Tú me ves como nadie más ve Tú me curas cuando más me duele Sé que siempre has sabido amarme Tortolito no queda bien, bebé Me acuerdo de tus amigas diciendo que no ven Que esto sea dura, pero que sea algo sincero Que un perro no cambia y eso es lo que es él Pero tú lo... Hey guys, what's up? Happy Sunday. Um, I wanted to come on and vlog today just because I had started vlogging on Friday 
And then yesterday I didn't do a very good job. We had a really busy day. I hung out with my sister and my mom all day. And then in the evening, we went over to our friend's house to watch the UFC fight. So uh, I'm gonna post some pictures. Uh, we went to a thing called Frida Fest here in San Antonio, and it was just a bunch of vendors selling really fun stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys what I bought there. We also went to check out a boutique called Bless Your Heart here in San Antonio. Um, because we were already all the way over there on that side of town. It's pretty far from us. So we took the opportunity to go check that out and I will show you guys what I got from that. Let me show you the pictures first. <laughs> and then like i said we did go to that other boutique so i'll show you guys what i got uh so right now today i'm gonna spend the day okay so james and reagan left super early this morning like at 6 30 in the morning i said reagan james and dane left super early this morning to go play baseball in Dripping Springs, which is about an hour and a half away from us. It's a one day tournament and I decided not to go because I need to take the girls to vacation Bible school this evening and I didn't think that we would be back in time. So I'm using this opportunity to clean my house because it desperately, desperately needs to be cleaned and put away. It's been a really busy week. I haven't really been focusing on getting things cleaned up. So that is what I'm going to do part of the day. And then also, um, oh, so here's the story. So I wasn't going to wake up this morning with them because they were going on their own. But I went ahead and woke up. I got Dane his uniform. I packed waters and Gatorades and helped James, you know, get everything together. And so I was kind of up till about 8 from like 6.30 to 8. And then I was like, I should really just take a quick little nap so that I have enough energy to clean. It's 11 o'clock, you guys, what? I slept till 11 o'clock on total accident. So I'm hoping I can still get everything done. Um, let me show you, I'm kind of embarrassed. And normally I could care less, but look at my kitchen. Like, what is happening? Um, my living room is a disaster, the front hallway, my bedroom. So I have a lot of cleaning to do. But before we do that, I am going to make some iced coffee. Step one. I am kind of upset because my official or the iced coffee cup that I always use is in my truck and James took my truck. The girls stayed the night at my mom's, by the way. That's why they're not here. Um, and Reagan is probably still asleep. So I'm going to get another cup for iced coffee. We're gonna make some iced coffee and then I'll show you guys what I bought yesterday. Okay, I found this cup, which is like my old school coffee cup from like literally probably like 2019. <laughs> so, um, I was also going to take a shower this morning um, because like I said, I have to go to church tonight. But I think I'm going, I mean, obviously I decided I'm going to clean really good, get all sweaty and gross, then take a shower, then take the girls. And of course, you guys know the drill. I have ice. This is my Takea cold brew coffee maker, which I could not, could not live without in the summertime. Maybe in the winter, I'm going to have to figure out why I still have that coffee maker. Maybe I'll get an espresso by then. Maybe I'll get an espresso for my 35th birthday, although I'm hoping we'll be in Disney. So, um, yeah, got that. And then, of course, my zero sugar caramel macchiato. That's my ride or die. I did put a little bit more because this um, batch of coffee has been sitting for a while in the fridge. So it's normally a lot stronger when it's been sitting for a while. It's so good. I'm assuming, like, good for you, like, not harmful. Oh, it's so strong, guys. Maybe I shouldn't be drinking it. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be fine, okay? I need the caffeine. It's all right. 
not the best. Um, I added too much creamer. <laughs> Not the best uh, iced coffee I've had at home. That batch is probably too old. Um, but it's going to work. We're going to make it work, okay? Let me... Let's go to my room so I can show you guys everything I bought. Okay, the lighting was kind of awful in my room. So I just came up here to the front room because I'm literally in front of the window. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to start out with what we got from the Frida Fest. And then I will show you guys. We just picked up a few things from um, Bless Your Heart. I'm going to show you what we got, what the girls got first, because they pretty much got the majority of this stuff, because um, you know how kids are. And then when I was pretty overwhelmed, it was a bunch of vendors and booths selling all of my favorite things. And it was very hard for me to like decide what I wanted, needed, wanted to buy. And the girls, of course, were like, you know, wanting things. And so I was like, yeah, go ahead. And then at the end, I was almost gonna walk out with nothing. And then I said, I need to buy something that I really like, which is my big purchase. And then I also bought something fun that I wanted, which is my smaller purchase. So technically I only got two things. Well, it's three things, but two things from one shop and one thing from another. But anyways, so the girls got these cute little plushies. Um, this is a Mexican candy. These are handmade. Uh, Camila got the concha. They wanna put them in the, on the shelves in their room. How cute is this concha? I told her she could put it on her Christmas tree as well. Um, and the guy is on my Instagram. I did tag him, but I can't remember what it's called. Something Galavera Crafters, I believe. And then my mom bought the girls these cute little dolls. This one is Camila's with the little set up bed dress. And then they will also put these on their shelves. Kyla got the mini one, which is so cute. She has like the um, purple and pink and like a peachy color up. Hold on one sec, James is calling me. Uh, so on, back to Kyla's little mini doll. See, hers is smaller. And she also has the set up a dress. And then uh, she they sit, so they're gonna sit on their shelves. Uh, they did name them, I don't know what they named them. So that is what they got from the Frida Fest. And then here is what I got. So I'm gonna start with my smaller fun purchase. So um, Carolina's Antiques was there and that is like one of my favorite follows on Instagram and here in San Antonio. So I need to buy a new pair of Crocs because I got all the cute Mexican Croc charms. Uh, I got Selena. Let's see. I'm going to try to... Okay, we got the Selena... I got the Frida because I was at the Frida Fest, had to get Frida. And then I got the Mickey Concha, which is so cute. Um, they had a bunch of other ones too that I can collect. I'm just trying to decide what color Crocs I want. Right now I have these, which I live in. And they're just the slides, they're already so gross. Um, this is 22 for Reagan with a baseball and 11 for Reagan with the baseball. The thing is, look how gross my baseballs are already and all that. So maybe, I was thinking maybe I would just take these charms off like once baseball's over, cause in the fall we kind of move towards football and stuff. But I also thought it would be fun to get like some purple Crocs. Maybe I need like regular Crocs or something. Or maybe I'll put these on my leopard furry Crocs. Who knows, okay? I gotta figure it out. <laughs> So that was my fun purchase. These were $5 each, which is, you know, kind of pricey, but they're cute. So that's that. And then my big purchase was, well, the same vendor, but not my big purchase. My big purchase is here. This is the smaller purchase, which I knew I could have made this, but it's the point of putting it on my Christmas tree and saying, I bought that at the Frida Fest is this cute Calavera Dallas Cowboys. If you guys have been following for a while, you know that our Christmas tree is Dallas Cowboys. So I thought this little Calavera was so cute and it's perfect to hang on the tree. And I've been wanting to go more towards Mexican style for the tree, which is not happening. I have a separate tree that I'm gonna do that for, but this is just so fun and goes with our home decor. I'll put a little tree hook on it and hang it in the tree. 
<clears throat> I will write uh, Frida Fest 2021. And this is how I collect sentimental items for my Christmas tree. So perfect for that. And from the same artist, I got this for my kitchen. Isn't that so cute? So it's a it's a heart. And then like all the arteries and stuff is pan dulce. So these are churros. And then we got the concha, the marano, and then like the little, the empanada, and then the little confetti cookie. Normally this print is on a blue background. I was kind of bummed that she, that this one was on an orange, but because it was already mounted, um, but I'm noticing it's kind of cut off. No, it's fine, right? Um, it's already mounted, so I'm just going to buy a really nice frame for it. And then I'm going to put it on my kitchen. I already know where. Let me show you guys. Let's go on a field trip in my messy house. Um, so I am, and then I was thinking I should have bought two. See, I mean, minus the glare, obviously. I'm gonna get a real nice frame and put it here, but I was thinking I could have stacked two of them. She is on um, Instagram, so I just couldn't find her on Instagram. So I asked another fellow follower if they could remind me of the name on Instagram. We'll see if she messages me back. Like frame it. I think this is an 18 by 24, but I am gonna measure it just to make sure. So that one was 25. I should have got two. But the other options I didn't like. Oh, I did like the moon. She has one that's a moon concha and it's on a black. That would have been cute. I, don't you hate when you think of things after the fact? <gasps> I'm not gonna go. I'm like, they're there again today. I'm not gonna go again today, but I don't know if I can put this back. Okay, so now, like I said, we did go down to Bless Your Heart. Once again, I'll show you what the girls got. They got these poppets. They did come in cute little packages. Look, this one's a cake and this one's a butterfly. Um, these were $9 each. <laughs> just so annoying like they wanted the big old $25 ones and I was like y'all are crazy this is mommy's day for shopping which I didn't get anything very much um so that's what they got I love the colors and they're super cute and then for Kyla we are back to school shopping which you guys will have seen in the vlog before this they have these cute uh, shoes six and a half they were on clearance for $14 they're so cute look it comes with red laces or white laces honestly I think we're gonna do white laces because then they'll go with more but the red laces are fun um, so yeah she is officially a six and a half um, I was having issues with shoe sizing for her like whether she was a six or a seven or what and she is a six and a half that's what we've bought the last two pairs of shoes in Okay, and then what I picked up at Bless Your Heart is just a bunch of earrings. They were all on clearance. So I got these teardrop ones. They're like a pink, oh, right? No, it's a bead actually. And it's almost like a maroony pink, which is perfect for fall. Um, and these were $3, they were originally 12. Love that shape. And then the rest, which I'm not a biggie. I used to always wear big earrings, but I don't like big earrings recently. So I was really excited to find all of these studs. First, we have some neon hearts, which are perfect for summertime. And these were only $2. They have like a little 3D action. Thought those were fun. And then these just little yellow rhinestones. These were $3. Um, I love the iridescent on them and then these are my favorite these were three dollars as well and they're cute leather it's actually leather and it's pin painted with some cactuses on a pink background which these i wore these last night so that is everything we got yesterday on our girls day it is time to get to business we're gonna clean what should we clean first i think i'm gonna clean my room first and then I'm gonna clean the um, kitchen because I just, I'm not feeling cleaning the kitchen first like usual. I don't know, it hasn't been my vibe lately. All right guys, I just got done scrubbing my 
shower so I thought I would share some of the products I've been using lately because I've been really into uh, buying different products and it makes it fun to take a shower. Let me show you guys. I'm gonna start over here. I got this little heel scrubber at the Dollar Tree. It really helps for the summertime. Um, these things are like TikTok <laughs> scrubs. They're actually from Walmart. I've been able to find the watermelon and the cotton candy. They're, uh, let me put this back real quick. They're kind of hard to find, but they're super fun. Let me open one up, hold Okay, on. so here is the watermelon one. It smells amazing, and it has like little fake watermelon seeds in there, which is so cute. And then the cotton candy one is just so fun. It's great to like scrub down all the dry skin from the summer, and you come out feeling like super soft. And like I said, I just picked these guys up at Walmart. Um, I got this at Marshall's one time, I believe. Yeah, Marshall's. It is so good. I actually use it on my face and my face is pretty sensitive and it works really well. It's coconut and coffee scrub. I just lightly scrub it on my face every once in a while, not every day. And it makes my face feel really good. It actually smells kind of good too. Like I know that's weird, coffee and and uh, coconut, but it's really good. This I picked up for Reagan. That's why it looks a little like war <laughs> worn down. I actually have two of them because we were out of town and I just went ahead and got him one. He is having trouble with acne on his um, body, like his shoulders and chest. So he's just using this. It has the salicylic acid um, acne medication and it's just a peach scrub. I think he likes it. Oh, apricot, not peach. Okay, and then I've been using this Clean and Clear Morning Burst. It smells so good for my face wash. Um, I usually use like a Neutrogena, but I went ahead and switched it up to that one. Down here, I did get this anti-dandruff shampoo. It smells so good. I don't know if it works or not because I feel like once I used it, my, uh, my scalp was like flakier than it was normally. I don't need it daily or anything. It's just that my skin gets really dry and then my scalp starts to flake which is also why i have this this stuff smells freaking amazing i use this every once in a while like i said when i'm having issues with my scalp being dry it's just a scalp scrub it smells so good and then um that is just an extra like if we go on a trip and i buy something i just throw it in here it's just a suave coconut but this is the fresh coconut colada from bath and body works we went to the semi-annual sale and i was completely overwhelmed so i just ended up getting this one and a um coconut and hibiscus body lotion so that is what i have there and then down here we have been really into the old school herbal essence shampoos we've pretty much tried them all at this point the rose one smells amazing. The conditioner's in the kids' shower. And then we have this argon oil. It just makes our hair so soft. The girl's hair so detangled. We absolutely love it. This is the one I had picked up when we went on vacation. I normally just get a full size since we are a family of six. Take it with us and then we bring it back once we're done. Down here, this is actually a bubble bath, but I didn't realize it until after I bought it. I've had it for a while. It's the hemp seed. It smells so good. That's why I bought it, lol, oh, well, because it's all like cannabis, whatever. No, it just smells really good. Um, it would be really good if I had a bathtub, which I don't yet. I will one day though. Okay, and then both of these I picked up at Walmart. They have several other scents that I would like to get, but I just need to get more shelving in here. This is the lavender and honey. It smells so good. And then the rose water. It's just really fun to switch it up in the shower. Um, I didn't realize how much I enjoyed it until I started buying all of these products. This one I picked up when we went on our beach trip during Memorial Day. I also took it on our 4th of July trip. So I feel like it's the sea salt and Pacific kelp. I feel like it's always gonna remind me of summer, which is why I love to do things like this. We've been traveling with that a lot. This one I've had since winter time. It's the limited edition winter care for Dove. Uh, it was such a big bottle and it's body wash. So I'll probably use it here again in the winter time. And then hopefully I'll finish it up at that time. Here is the men's section. So I got James this Nivea Deep Clean. He does work with a lot of grease and oil and stuff. So I thought that would be nice for him. This one is just his everyday shampoo and conditioner. Um, he likes, it's invigorating. So it has like a minty type of thing. That's his shampoo and conditioner. And then these were on sale at HEB one time. So I just went ahead and got him the Surfside. Rush and the Sandalwood Smash. I get the boys the same 
type of stuff just for fun. If he wants to switch it up, he has options. So that is my quick little uh, product tour, what I'm using this summer. back home i am so exhausted i think it's like nine something dane won his championship here's a picture isn't he so cute um so yeah they played all day long and he won the championship which is which is amazing i got sonic on the way home um while the girls were at vbs i went to ross so i'm going to show you guys what i got still school shopping and then um i picked up reagan some tacos put gas in the truck i'm gonna fold this load of laundry and then i'm gonna put pajamas on and lay down james is not supposed to not gonna get home until like 10 30. um i also need to dry reagan's bedding so and reagan has workout in the morning which means it's back to me waking up at 7 a.m i've gotten really used to waking up like around nine ish and it works for my fasting because then I don't get hungry until I can wait, hold off a whole lot longer. But um, I feel like once I go back to my early wake up schedule, I'm gonna wanna be eating early again. But anyways, let me show you guys what I got from Ross really quick. Okay, so for Cammy, I got her this cute little, um, it's like a teal green color with uh, these gold foil hearts. It's just a cute little dress, size six, and it was $7.99. And then for Kyla, I got her this cute butterfly sweater. What does it say? I think it says like California. Yeah, it says California here. I just like the color. She's getting older now. This is gonna be her vibe. Um, let's see, this one was, I don't know. I think it was like $12.99 maybe, yeah. $12.99 for that one, which I thought was cute. It's a little bit shorter, not cropped, but like a little bit shorter for like a, a girl style. I did get her, I went up to the bigger size. Yeah, I did get her the 16 just so she could be comfy. And then I got Dane, these Joe jeans. Um, see, they are the Brixton Joe's size 14 i liked that they were frayed at the bottom um so i figured he can just wear these like with some tennies and t-shirts and these were 12.99 and then i got these which are like a more like kind of cool looking athletic this is like reflective and these were only 8.99 so i thought those were good let's see these i got in the 14 and then I mean, these back here are 14, you guys saw that. And then these are extra large. It says 1820, but if you notice, they're pretty much the same size as the 14s. And these have like a slim leg. I don't know if you can tell, but okay. And then, oh, I forgot I got this. I did get a shower curtain liner. It's just like a clear one. It was only 4.99, so I'm gonna change out my shower curtain liner since i deep cleaned the restroom and then one last thing i got i think oh i got another thing i forgot too so i got kyla this two pack of little sundresses i thought this was so cute it's a super cute like ribbed material with this fun little belt and then on the uh, delia's who remembers this when we were little and then on the other side is just a cute pink floral um, Kyla's very into comfort. <laughs> if something is like uncomfortable, she will complain about wearing it. That's like her only complaint is whether something is like soft and comfortable or not. And this two pack was only $9.99, which I thought was a steal for two dresses. I got her the 1416. I do go up a size for her. She's genuinely generally a 1012. But I get her the 1416 because she's super tall and I don't want anything to be short. So that's why I do that. And then lastly, I just got this wet brush. I think I've always wanted to try this one. It is the uh, Speed Dry. It's the one with like the little gap in between. It was $4.99 and it was purple. So it had to come home with me. <laughs> 
All right, so that is what I picked up at Ross. Just collecting little things here and there for school. That way I'm not purchasing everything all at once. I did order the girls some cowboy boots off of Amazon today. So I'll show you guys those next week when they come in. My tongue got twisted there. I'll show you guys those next week when they come in. But that's going to be it for this weekend's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.